Fighting continues in Sudan despite a United Nations Security Council call for a ceasefire during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. On Tuesday, the army regained control of the symbolically important state television studios. The Rapid Sport Forces used the building for military operations and there are reports that it was also used as a detention centre. Hibber Morgan reports from Omdurman. This is the premises of Sudan's National Corporation for Radio and Television, or at least it used to be. Because of the fighting between the RSF and the Sudanese army, this is what now it looks like. There are signs of the fighting that took place between the Sudanese army and the paramilitary rapid support forces. The RSF was uh, in control of this building since April 15th when fighting broke out between the RSF and the Sudanese army in Sudan's capital, Khartoum. The premises is also home to Sudan's oldest and largest collection of archives, and that includes archives from Sudan's independence up to just before the conflict began in April. Now, over the past few months, the Sudanese army laid siege to the premises of the Broadcasting Corporation and for weeks has been tightening the siege around the paramilitary rapid support forces. And on the early hours of Tuesday morning, the Sudanese army was able to regain control of this premises. Now, this is significant for two reasons. Historically, whoever controls Sudan and its government controls the state television. So symbolically, this gives the Sudanese army an upper hand. It also shows how far the Sudanese army has come over the past few months of fighting between it and the RSF. Sudan's army has been regaining grounds and territories from the paramilitary RSF in the city of Umdurman and in other parts of the capital as well. Now, the United Nations Security Council has called for a ceasefire to be observed during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan for relief supplies to reach the civilians that have been affected by the conflict. But fighting continues between the army and the RSF. The Sudanese army says that there will be no ceasefire unless the, uh, the RSF withdraws from civilian facilities and from cities it took over since May last year. The RSF has refused to do so, so fighting continues with no ceasefire to be observed, at least for the time being, in Sudan and especially in the capital, Khartoum. Hiba Morgan, Al Jazeera, Umdurman.